mentioned um, earlier that there was um, an issue with employment, and then um, and then in your profits, you know, um, you changed that. Now, what did they do in order to you know to, to to have that you know change you know take place? The first thing they did was get together and meet with each other to explore what the issues were. Then they met with the families to find out what they were doing. And then they more than prophesied that if they needed help with resumes, they did help with resumes. They needed help with interviews, they did help with it. They did what it took. They started in the spirit, and then they finished it in the natural. But they walked them through it. And then when they had interviews, they prayed with them, and they exerted their, their mantleship on those opportunities until they got the job. When they started messing up, because my prophets will tell them in a minute, don't mess around and lose this job. They will tell them, no, 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 don't do that. Because once you engage a person to the point that you help them get a job, you have a right to speak into how they keep it. This is Dr. Paula Price, and I'd like to tell you about my most favorite day of the week, which is Thursdays. I have a weekly radio show on Block Talk Radio called The Paula Price Show. And every Thursday, I meet you. You get to call me, you get to log on, you get to tune in. And I talk to you about what's going on in God's world and His kingdom. We give global counsel, I give personal counsel and prophecy and prayer. I try to ask myself, what is the most potent part of the show? What is it the best part? And you know what? I can't figure out whether it's the prayer, the prophecy, or the counsel. But more than 10 years ago, I wanted to have a show that did three things. Teach, talk, touch. And I get to do that every Thursday on the Paula Price Show.